We created fouled reality as a way to show waterfowl hunting videos. But you know what? A turkey is a fowl too. So I headed down south to meet up with our buddy Jonathan Hill to hunt public land in southern Illinois for the third season. Everything was green and grown up from the early warm spring we had been having. But of course when I go down there to film, the weather's supposed to be cold and rainy. So we knew the hunting was probably going to be tough. We set up the first morning near some roosted birds. We had them talking on the roost. Once they hit the ground, they gobbled some more. We had them coming our way. Shortly thereafter, we had two hunters coming our way too. Once the turkeys saw the hunters, they were gone and our morning hunt was over. The rest of the morning was uneventful. The only turkeys we were able to find were on private land. Day two started with rain. So we went out and got our bellies full eating breakfast. Then the rain stopped and the sun came out and we hit the road in search for a gobbler. We finally located one down a power line cut. He was a long ways off and just a speck in the binoculars, but he was on public land, so we knew we had a chance at him. The long beard was down the hill from our first setup. We had other hunters just across the power line cut that were calling to him as well. After 20 minutes of sitting there and nothing happening, we knew we had to make a move. So we went down the hill to get underneath him so we could get a visual on him. We've got a bird out here. 125 yards strutting on the hill been here 20 minutes calling at him won't move just doing pirouettes out there he seems like an old bird's got big big beard on him we can't get him to come to the call so I'm gonna have to go to him can't get the camera over there will be too much noise so he's gonna film from here and I'm gonna see if I can't get out there and bushwhack him I don't like killing turkeys like this, but last day I get to hunt for my season, public land, there's already two guys over here on him, calling at him. He's keeping him gobbling for me, which is good because I can pinpoint him when I get there, but I'm going to get over and see if I can't kill his bird. I want you to look at that rope. That's a lead man's beard right there. Just a two year old. Only got three quarter inch spurs. But sometimes it's what it. Got to get out there and bushwhack them. Weather's been terrible for two days, 48 degrees yesterday. Very little gobbling. What was it, 40 this morning? Yeah. Probably 40. Around the same as yesterday now, it's been raining all morning. They gobbled twice off the roost. We got in here on this bird, spot him from about, oh, that's a good mile. Yeah. At least a mile away from the main road, this is public hunting. Spotted him, got in here on him, tried to call him to us. He's in a strut zone, not gonna move. Done this a million times. He just sit there, hell, he, he didn't, for the first 10 minutes we saw him, he never took one step. So instead of sitting here and calling at him all day and him leaving, we decided the only chance we had of killing him was to bushwhack him. I don't know if he got it on camera, but I had to crawl about 100 yards and uh, got it done. We had two guys over here, public land hunting for you, two guys over here that we slipped in between, didn't know they were here. And uh, they were calling, kept him gobbling, which was good for me because I could keep tabs on him. 
popped up on the hill right, right, uh, I don't know, 30 yards. Laid the hammer down. You see him. Turkey hunting never goes as planned, but we stayed persistent and utilized every minute of the short time we had to hunt him. Jonathan was able to harvest a great bird on public land. Now, it wasn't mind blowing footage because the turkey didn't quite read the script, but we had turkey breast in the freezer and we had captured a different kind of fowl for fouled reality.